Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Lisa with Lisa's Faith and Budget Planning Channel. Um, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to get into my sinking funds, savings tracker, and uh, a little bit into the credit card log. Um, I track my credit card and I like sharing that with people and ways you can stay within a budget on your credit card. So um, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm excited to have you here. I've got a lot of new people that are new and I am just excited to have conversations and chat with you in the uh, the comment section down below and just share my life and my story on how I budget and how I keep myself sane with money. I mean, just because we need the little sanity in our life right now. Um, and if you have been coming to my channel regularly and you are already subscribed, thank you for coming back and watching my videos. I am excited to have you here too. Um, I got some special things coming up pretty soon. Um, I just heard that November 11th is Erin Condren's um, winter surprise box purchase day. And hopefully I can get two boxes. And what I did last time is I gave away a box. And uh, if I can get two boxes this time, I will give away another box. And then I'm going to have um, a Thanksgiving giveaway as well. Uh, the winter surprise box probably won't be here until early December, but I do plan to get, do a giveaway in in November so for Thanksgiving and so look out for a video on that this is the first time I'm announcing it here in the sinking funds video so um yeah that's what we're doing um so let's go ahead and get started I'm going to pop these pages out and we're going to get a closer look of the budget and um let's get started okay I am back so here are my sinking funds I've already written everything out as far as the categories and we're going to put our new beginning balances which are the ending balances that happen in October. And um, I only have one thing that I'm aware of, maybe two things um, that will be happening in sinking funds this month. Most of my sinking funds are annual expenses or quarterly expenses. So um, I had a quarterly expense come out and then I had, um, and then our annual, you know, leading up to Christmas. If I find money or if I find gifts I wanna buy, I have a fund for that. So that is what we're gonna dive into today. Um, here is the sinking funds. I'm gonna slide this over. It's gonna cut some of this off and I'm gonna get all this in because I've added Xander I, um, ID theft and epidemic sound to my sinking funds. It was cheaper to pay it annually and I saved a dollar or two, maybe $10 a month. But if I save 10, $15 a month, not a month, a year on three or four annual subscriptions, then that adds up to $30, $40, $50 dollars sometimes. And so I do like doing it that way. Um, some subscriptions are only monthly and it's not worth taking out the extra, but this time um, it was. Um, anything, any penny you can save, it's worth it. So um, this is October sinking funds. And then as you can see, I was like figuring up a bunch of stuff down here and adding a couple of things. So we're just going to go ahead and put this together and um, start filling this in. Uh, Amazon Prime came out in September, so um, we're only at $21 right now. And that's fine. That's where it's supposed to be. Uh, Disney Plus is actually going up. Um, it went from $69.99 to $79.99. Um, and that's what's going to be pulled out from um, what my email notification said. But right now I have $64.13. And I should be able to pay out of pocket the rest. So I'm not too worried about that. Apple subscription is also $64.13. I kind of got these about the same time. This comes out in November. This comes out in December. Um, so I just kind of fund them the same time. And then when they come out, they come out. Orkin termite spray. I'm actually going to have to use this. Um, this is going to be, uh, $221. And I'm actually going to increase this a couple dollars possibly. Um, if I remember to do so when I make the transfer, I got to make a note for that, but I want to add a couple more dollars because they've added onto the service a little bit and it's bumped it up from $88 quarterly to $95.92. And I need to figure out what that is for um, the average for the year. So it's just a few dollars. Lately, I've just been taking it out of the checking account and that's a $7 difference 
and some change. So um, I haven't really worried about it too much, but I might increase the sinking fund so I can just pay it in full and not have to use um, like miscellaneous or something to cover the difference. Though $7 is not a big hit for us. Um, $130 is what we have for heating and AC. This is an annual contract we do in the spring and I need to call them because they have not come and serviced the heating unit for the winter and I want to make sure they do that. <laughs> Let's see, City of Chesapeake. This is for our property taxes for our vehicles and stormwater, which will come out in December. Um, we average about six, $700 a year combined for two vehicles and the um, stormwater, which is $44.10 in June and December. So um, right now we have it funded at $276.02. Cell phone tech, I just throw $100 a month at it, and then when I need it or I want to, if I need a Category 2 to deplete for technology, this is what I use. Right now, we're sitting at $119.53. Um, Christmas fund is at $850. Vacation fund is at $200. And PO box is at $34. The vacation fund is one I'm going to use too um, because we are going to town this weekend and that'll cover most of the cost for the hotel expenses. So that'll work. Uh, business license, I'm up to $50. Um, senior year, that's down here. So I'm going to put, I'm down to $493.98. Um, I bought my son's cap and gown, who's graduating this year, um, his senior portraits and things like this. Um, I think when my oldest graduated in 2017, he we only spent $1,100. So we put $1,000 here, and then, you know, if we need to add to it, we will. But if we don't think we need to, we'll just leave it right here for now. Because I don't have any new expenses coming up. It was just the announcements, the invitations, and the cap and gown, and the yearbook, and the portraits and um, we'll have uh, cap and gown photos later this year. So um, that should be enough to cover that plus any party supplies and stuff for his graduation party. So I'm super excited about that. Um, let's see, uh, Canva, I'm fully funded until it withdraws at $120. Child tax credit, um, let's see, we're at $1,000. I've just been saving the child tax credit just in case when we do our taxes later this year, will it mean we owe any or not? Um, I just put it aside and if, if my sons really need it, um, then yeah, I would spend it on him. Um, if not, then maybe I'll make it a graduation gift or who knows, um, or just use it to pay more senior stuff and maybe do a senior vacation trip, you know, you know, graduation trip. Uh, that would be kind of cool. Um, things like that. That's what we're doing. Uh, Xander identity theft. So that's new and that starts with zero dollars. But I want to go ahead and put here that twelve dollars is what each of these will be when I um, go to put these together. So um, now we're going to put what the deposit will look like and if I know of any um, anything that's going to come out. One transaction has come out already, and that is the Orkin Termite Spray, and that was for $95.92. So I know that's going to come out. Um, and then, let's see, what else? Anything else that I have, I need to have come out. I have not taken out the vacation fund yet, but I might do that when it gets closer to the deposit. Um, let's see box nope nope all right so now i'm ready to do what we normally put in as a deposit for the sinking funds now my sinking funds are all in one savings account and i only transfer money into it um at the end of the month with the last paycheck of the month now if i need some of that money just like this uh 95 dollars 92 cents oops you can't even see that i'm very sorry this 92.95 once this is um I go to make this deposit because for right now I can kind of float this out of our budget um, in our everyday checking right now. I will reduce what I plan to deposit in here in the sinking fund savings account by this amount. And I will also um, 
take out whatever this is. So I may not put a large deposit in, but since these cash um, amounts were already in the savings account, I'll just reduce these categories and then it replenishes the rest of the categories and balances out in the end. Um, I don't know if it's an abstract way of thinking about it or seeing it, but that's just kind of how I work. So I don't have to transfer a lot of funds every month. So that's how I do it. Oh, I do need my, um, I thought I was done with my other sheet, but I do need this to know how much <laughs> I'm putting in the deposit. So on, every month I put in, uh, there we go, $10 for Amazon Prime. Um, I'm changing this to 667 for uh, Disney Plus because that will be the difference of uh, 79.99 divided by 12 and round it up just a little bit. Um, let's see, Apple subscription will stay the same, 583. Um, termite spray. So I'm going to mark over here off to the side um, a little arrow going up and a little arrow going up. So when I do my future budgets, I will recognize that I've increased it. So I'm going to increase this to $57 just a couple dollars more a month to cover those little extra transaction there that I didn't originally have with my contract. So uh, heating and AC, I do $20. City of Chesapeake, I do 57. And then cell phone tech, I always throw a hundred dollars in there. It's one of those flexible ones that if I don't see tech needed in the future and I need the cash from somewhere, that's the first place I hit. Um, because tech is the last thing we'll worry about. Um, so Christmas fund, I'm going to add $50. And I add $50 every month, but right now it's built up. I added extra money in addition to the $50 I normally do. Uh, $350 is what I put in there um, because my dad had given us a check for the holidays to spend and my oldest son was born on Christmas Eve, so he gets birthday money and Christmas money, and that's what I had to sort out as far as where the money was going. So, <laughs> vacation fund. Um, we are putting $50 in there. And then PO Box, we're putting $17 in there. And then business license is $10. Uh, child tax credit has been 250 Oops writing my numbers backwards again, $250. And then um, these are the new ones. I went ahead and put that down. And then I'm not adding to the senior year and I'm not adding to Canva because I don't need to. And then dividends. So the beginning, oh, I forgot to write the beginning dividends. So the ending dividends for last month were $5.34. Now this is just the pennies they throw in the um, account when you have a savings account that earns a itty bitty teeny tiny interest. And this is what's built up so far. I'm like, really? And that's it. Um, so I really don't, <laughs> I don't care. I just have it in there in order to balance um, the numbers and they match my bank account. That's the important thing for me. I need to match the bank account. And as long as it matches the bank account, then that's why I have that number. So I'm pulling up right now. Hopefully it'll come up. Pulling up my spreadsheet that does all this math for me. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead. We'll total this up together. But I'm also going to pull up where um, I have the dividends for November um, for these accounts. And that way I don't have to go into the bank. So I have 60 eight cents oops well that's wishful thinking six dollars oh, here we go 68 cents and that's what we got in dividends and then um and that is what i have there so we're going to total i'm just going to make the total the sheet's getting longer so i'm going to use the total thing down here at the bottom um, and we'll just add it all up like I do on my other sheets and make sure I'm not missing anything. Aha. Uh -huh. Though I wrote on here, I did not put in my spreadsheet. 
these two new items. So I, now that I know that, I will definitely get that done. So let's go ahead and total these two columns up and we will see exactly how much um, my beginning balance is. And we're gonna see um, how much I'll be adding to the account. Um, and once all the numbers um, of what I add, what I subtract and the ending, I'll do that later at the end of the month. So let's see here, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So I've totaled both columns and we are looking pretty good. So um, both columns, I put the total number down here and I have $3,649.13 um, coming into um, this month in November. And then I have um, $658.18 um, for the deposit minus um, this $95.92. And then I probably will also leave out um, $250 from vacation. Um, because the hotel room was just over $350 or something like that. So whatever um, I can get for the hotel room out of this um, vacation fund, and then we'll pay out of pocket the budget for the rest under miscellaneous. So that'll cover that. And actually, that is actually on the credit card. I, I book it on the credit card, but then um, I will pay my credit card with the savings account. So that'll be taken care of later. And um, yeah, so that's what I have right there. This is a um, pretty good start to my sinking funds. And I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the uh, savings account for my emergency fund. So my savings tracker. So last month in October, I put a significant amount of savings in because my husband had overtime money and a majority of that went in here and I reduced his uh, saving travel expense and all that stuff. So this is what we have in the savings account for, uh, which is a different savings account compared to my um, sinking funds. This one's attached to the bills um, um, that come out, the checking account where the bills come out. And so it's a savings checking account that my husband and I started together mm, 25 years ago. And <laughs> we've had it forever. Um, and so th that's that account. And then I have a personal account that's just for me checking and savings. And that's where I keep my sinking funds. And then I do my Etsy business and everything else through my checking account, which is totally separate. I don't show any of those numbers. So savings tracker, this is what October looked like. There's 2000 in the home improvement that I added. And yeah, October was a hot mess as far as writing goes. <laughs> So I did put the categories down. I did include a home improvement saving there. Um, we need a few rooms painted and we need um, to call a contractor for our window. And I keep talking about it and we keep forgetting to do it, but we'll get to it eventually. So um, the ending balances are our beginning balances. So that is what we have here. $13,125, which is our emergency fund. Not quite three months, but it's getting really, really close. Um, travel expense savings, we save $800 um, in, a, in the savings account when my husband needs to pull cash out for meals um, when he travels. And so he's down to $356 right now. And then VA education savings, he's not getting any this time for the savings tracker. You will see it as a deposit later. He has taken a class, um, but he is asked to take the money and put it in his um, personal pile of um, spending. And I'm like, sure. So we're not gonna put anything here. Um, sometimes he has me build up the savings and sometimes he just takes it and puts it in his spending. Um, he has a cash, uh, Visa check card, I guess is not Visa check card, um, prepaid go card. That's what it's called. And so he puts on a prepaid go card and purchases his own stuff and it doesn't interfere with the rest of the budget. So we like doing things that way. And then home improvement was $2,000 um, that we put aside to make sure we can get painting and home improvement stuff done. And then dividends. So we ended with $24.70. And we definitely want to track that. Let's see, 
dividends for November is $2.08. So because we have a higher number, it gives us just a little bit more than the other one. So we get $2.08 there, and I put it in the wrong place. <laughs> um, as far as what we are doing with savings this month, my husband is still getting overtime in his paycheck, but it won't happen until the 12th. And I don't know what that number is going to look like. So I am not even going to try to predict or put an amount that we might plan to deposit. And we have no plans to take any money out. I do think I have a meeting for some of my painter to come on the 22nd of November, but I'm not sure. Um, so there's that. Um, so we might take something out, but I'm not sure. I still have to wait until he calls me and says, okay, I have space available. Um, yeah, so that's all we're doing right there. We're going to total this up for right now. Um, 13, 125 plus 356 plus 2,000 uh, plus 24, 70. So $15,500 and $5.70. There we go. So that works there. I would use the totals here at the bottom, but see how far it is. <laughs> I prefer it up here. But as it gets, if I had enough a compartmentalized um, way of savings, then I would do it closer to the bottom, but it doesn't seem worth it right now. So yeah, that is my savings tracker. And hopefully this month we'll put maybe a thousand, two thousand if we're lucky. I don't know. It depends on how we spend this month. So um, that is the savings tracker. And here's our credit card log. So I just want to talk a brief minute the credit card log. Every time I spend something on the credit card, I put it on a log and I go on to my bank. And thank goodness I did because I had this um, transaction and I'll just spell it out on this little sticky note here. And it said, all Mart, like that. Instead of Walmart, it was all Mart. And it was zero dollars, zero cents. And I'm like, okay. And this was the other night, right before I, bet, I went to bed, I was working on this stuff. And I was like, I don't know what that is. And so I was like, well, in the morning, I'll just go to the bank. The branch is right next to my house. I'll just go over there and pick, you know, tell them, hey, I don't know what this is, but I'm worried about it. So usually if you see something with zero dollars, zero cents, it is somebody trying to check and see if you react to um, that transaction and how, if they can break the firewalls or if the credit card is good or whatever the credit card number is, um, if that is something they could pursue further. Um, and then the next morning when I woke up, there was a $11.08 charge for iTunes and then like 88 cents for iTunes. I don't know. It was an odd amount because iTunes usually ends in 99 cents or 29 cents. So it depends on what they bought or if they bought or if it just looked like it was iTunes. I don't know. Anyways, I went to my bank branch. And I'm like sat down and with the lady and she said, that is very strange. So we went over what actually was supposed to clear, which were these transactions. I knew this is what I bought. And I was like, those items I did not. <laughs> and she's like, okay. But I have to wait five to seven days for my credit card to get here. And I had to change the number to all the transactions that I use um, on here for um, bills. I put my subscriptions to like everything that's a subscription. Um, and I'll highlight it here. I forgot to do that before. I have an Etsy subscription. I have... Amazon Music subscription, that's my husband's, Paramount Plus, which was CBS All Access before subscription. This was a subscription for annual and I will be, I have to pay, I forgot to make these sinking funds in order to pay it out of sinking fund. So that'll be done later, but um, that'll be paid up for the year on the credit card. I'll pay it this year and next year I'll have money for it. And then I ordered some Christmas decor, um, things at lego.com and they were just ornaments and Christmas stuff that um, you can build with Legos that they were selling. So that was really cool. Um, and I put just a regular pen mark next to things that were not planned in the budget for um, the credit card purchases. So I'm like, I don't understand. 
<laughs> what happened but yeah they interfered with my life so it's that's why it's important to always look and I, i'm very careful but that's why i always use a credit card and keep my credit card paid off because when you have a maxed out credit card and somebody uses it and then you have all these fees yeah you can fight the fraud but you know some banks aren't as friendly as others and processing takes longer and you still have to pay fees and stuff so yeah there's a lot of things you have to jump through that's why i try to keep this very low um right now i'm approaching a thousand dollars um some of it's planned some of it wasn't so um and some of it was balanced forward from last month where i spent a little bit so yeah we're going to work that out here pretty soon and i'll be paying this off pretty soon as well but and just like i don't i don't understand you why <laughs> so that is why i track my credit cards that's why i track the uh, put it in a log and definitely handwrite it out so i can remember better on what i spent and how i spent it in order to make sure that um, my credit doesn't get messed with and that everything is good so um that is what i have on my credit card log so let me go ahead and zoom this out close out this video i'll be right back Okay, that is what I have. That is my sinking fund savings track. Um, okay, that is it. That is my sinking fund savings tracker, credit card log, and all the things. So I know where everything is. I know what I have, and I know where I'm going from here. And um, I know I can cover whatever costs I need to cover. So that's excellent. Um, it just takes the stress out of life when you organize it this way. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.